Hello everybody, good afternoon. And welcome to our David L. Underwood reveal. Uh, Y'all ready? I wish I had a, a drum roll. Da -da 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 okay, I don't get to do it. <laughs> I just want to thank everybody for coming out. And I also want to, in the spirit of this prestigious honor, I want to give you all a little background uh, about this event while we do it, uh, while we have it in such high regard. And it is because of our Dean David L. Underwood and the legacy that he left here at Forest and Valley. David L. Underwood was known for his love of education. He was deeply concerned with the welfare of students and staff alike. His dedication went beyond office hours and he tirelessly gave of himself, his time, his talents to further the educational mission here at the Florissant Valley campus and in the St. Louis community. Recipients of the Underwood Memorial Lecture Award demonstrate that same dedication and commitment. Chosen by a committee of peers, recipients exhibit excellence in instruction and a genuine humanistic concern for students, faculty, staff, and all of education. Now, since 1975, the selection committee for the Underwood Award recipient has adopted these criteria. The award recipient must be currently employed at Florissant and Valley. The award recipient must have a strong record of the achievement of excellence in instruction or instruction related activities. The award recipient must have a record of evidence that shows a genuine contribution to the field of education and a humanistic concern for faculty, students, and all persons in education. The award recipient must have made contributions clearly beyond what was normally to be expected of them, and these contributions must be demonstrated over an extended period of time. The award recipient must have satisfied these criteria during their tenure here at Florissant Valley. The recipient is selected on the basis of consensus of the committee members who are all made up of past awards. So I am going to introduce Underwood recipient number 44. 45, I should know my own number, huh? <laughs> Sharon North. Hey there, everyone. I have the distinct pleasure of um, offering some hints for you to consider uh, before revealing this year's uh, 48th Underwood Lecture Award recipient. So our recipient in kindergarten, we're going way back here, they were the lead of a Russian dance group and a lead drum major. They were also chosen to read a Christmas poem for the Christmas celebration. Um, they learned to swim in a big river and not in a pool. They were bitten by a neighbor's small dog at 18. Uh, they love reading and watching Netflix movies in their spare time. Any ideas yet? <laughs> um, as a child, their dream job was to be a judge because grandpa was a judge. They were the best student of the year in high school twice. They lived 22 years in another country. They speak 3.5 languages <laughs> and can read in five languages. They used to not like cooking, but now they do enjoy it. 
Um, this is their 16th year at Florissant Valley, teaching at Florissant Valley. They are certified in backwards design. They co-authored an OpenStax textbook. They are from a family of educators, and their mother has been an English professor for over 30 years. And they are from traditional royal families. Any ideas out there? Okay, I see some nods, I see some smiles. Please join me in congratulating and celebrating Professor Daba and Dow, the 48th recipient of the David L. Underwood Lecture Award. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, Let me see. Yes, yeah, I need a hug too. I'm a hugger. All right. Well, thank you so much for the warm welcome. Um, I thank the Underwood Committee for deeming me worthy of this honor. Um, I'm very honored and privileged to receive this uh, award. Having a former student email me or let me know about how they're doing in life or about their career was enough reward for me. Um, but this, is, this award takes it to another level because, because it is from my peers. Um, it took a global village to help me grow. So I have to thank my parents back home, my extended family back home. I have to uh, thank my family here in St. Louis, Missouri, because I've lived here more of my life here in St. Louis than in Senegal. I have to thank my former professors at the University of Missouri, who instilled in me uh, the challenge and the love of mathematics. But also I have to stand, uh, thank um, STLCC for, provide me, for providing me with the tool to become the educator that I am today. But most and foremost, I want to thank my students, faculty and staff who welcomed me with open arms in 2007. This is, real, uh, this is my second family. I wake up every day and I'm happy to come to work here at F uh, uh, SCLCC. So you are my global village. And I want to thank you because this was not possible without you guys. Each one of you somehow, somewhere, some, somehow has inspired me, has helped me has motivated me, has taught me to be the educator and the person that I am today. So I'm thanking you all from the bottom of my heart. And please send good vibes and inspirational thought for that August presentation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's wish Dava another congratulatory salute. Uh, we welcome you to celebrate with Daba and us upstairs at a reception, and we're going to First, acknowledge. Tradition, we'd like to take a picture of all the people here, and then all of the Underwood recipients. Before you go get food. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd also like to acknowledge uh, our chancellor who came to uh, visit us today on campus for this memorial. I'm in, sorry, not Memorial Lord. <laughs> For the celebratory <laughs> event. <laughs> 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 